Hey Tool, coming to you with another video all about eviction moratorium initiated by the CDC. This is different than last time, much, much different. This covers all renters, all landlords, not just federally backed loans. So these landlords that are going to have to comply by this and not make their payments, they're out of luck completely. And uh, this is not good for the landlord community. I mean, look, I know there's some issues with uh, evicting people who due to COVID have lost their job, but where does this end? Because, you know, I've talked about in the past how no consequence for mortgage holders, no consequence for bond holders are all protected by the government, but they're failing to protect the small investor, the small landlords that hold the majority of all single family and multifamily loans. And this is going to cause a lot of heartache because for one, the rent is still due. So they're going to still end up evicting these people unless they do some kind of new package where they're going to support these tenants and they're going to pay all the landlords. I'm not sure how that's going to work because in the meantime, these landlords, not all the lenders are going to comply with this because they're not federally backed loans. So they have a very high chance of losing their home. Uh, the tenants are still going to get kicked out. They're going to have an eviction on their more on their on their name, which I can tell you being in the property management business, there's a lot of things you can still rent a house. But if you've got an eviction on there, even an eviction uh, proceeding against you, it's really hard to rent a home ever again. So that's going to be interesting what, what they're going to do. And all these landlords that still have to pay their mortgage, still have to pay the taxes. All of these things are going to cause a lot of issues. You know, what, what's the solution? If you're going to help one side, you got to help the other, I guess. Um, this is a big, big, big deal. And it's going to cause a lot of issues. Um, luckily, in the asset class that we're dealing with and the single family rentals that are, you know, let's say $1,600 average rent or higher, much less issues with paying, paying rent, but I'm curious about what this is going to do. And I'm it's going to be great to see our numbers. Right now we're collecting 97% of all of our rent. It's uh, business as usual. Looking at apartments where the rent collection was already only at 87%, which is insane to me. Um, we're dealing in an asset class where we're collecting 97, 95% or more. This is a big deal. So watch out for this. Uh, I don't really know what else to say, except that uh, if, if you make $200,000 or less and you rent, you can not pay your rent. I wouldn't suggest doing that if you don't have to because there's going to be a lot of issues down the road. And for these landlords, a ton of issues because they still owe their mortgage payment. Thanks for watching. Leave me a message, comment, share. Let me know what you think about all this.